one never knows about the sport of fishing. And that's something I'm not kidding about. I do a lot of kidding. And hey, woo! Look at that. Y'all see that? That bass come up. He was chasing my shad. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine here. Currently, the surface temperature is at 60 degrees. Uh, it's probably about 55 air temperature out here. Now, this morning, I caught me some shad. We're going to do a little live bait fishing here on the Tennessee River. Stay with me. Now, this current is ripping. All the floodgates are open at the dam, I guarantee you. Now, right here, I've got my extreme bait tank with me today, and I have an assortment of bait. I had a tough time catching bait. Some of those are too small. I'm going to get rid of them a little bit at a time. What I'm looking for is a bait that's at least four and a half, five inches long, and I've got some big gizzard shad in there. I have yellow tails and some smaller gizzard shad, which I don't really think they're gonna do us any good today. I'm wanting to catch a, a big bass or two. That's exactly right. So I'm gonna start off with, and this, these are good reels right here. This is a tournament series speed spin made by Lou's and I have 12 pound test mono on it cajun red with a h2o express rod medium action now i have a size one not a one all eagle claw bait holder hook right here tab with a palomar knot and i have a i believe that's a five sixteenths egg weight now i have a rubber band rubbed uh, run through it uh, that way I can slide it up or down I can adjust my leader length to what's going to fit today's fishing but we're going to get started right here of course I'm going to have to pull way back up the underway this current has been ripping and it's all because of the floodgates they've been all on here lately every floodgate's been running folks now there's a that's the kind of baits that i'm wanting to to have in my tank every one of them this is a yellowtail right here and we're going to hook him through both lips like that right there this time i say yellowtail uh that's what we call them here that's what they call them most places i've been that's what they call them but they're really thread fin shad and I like those big ones right there. But I'm gonna pitch right there. Right there where I pitched is about the drop off where it drops off into the river. And we're gonna let it go to the bottom. Just your drag right here. That should do it right there. Now, all I'm gonna do is let this bait swim around and I'm gonna drift at the same time. In other words, I'll pull up and then make a short drift back. What I'm wanting to do is stay in this eddy behind this column on this first spot. Now, this is just the first spot. If they ain't no fish here, which we'll find out quick, I guarantee you that, we'll just move. We'll just move. Now that shad is barely clipping the bottom. Barely, that's what I want. I don't want a heavy weight right here. I just want to move around and hold it, hold my rod, cover a little water through here and figure out where these fish are. I'm in 11 feet of water right now. It, slowly tapers off the drop off does and at the same time i'm looking for fish and i don't see any right here all right folks let's try this column right here now this column is in 17 feet of water 
I've stepped over to the other set of columns right here. I'm looking for some big fish. They could be a little deeper. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's all over it. Let's let him. Okay, let's go ahead and set the hook. There he is. Golly. He ain't bad at all. Looky here, looky here, looky here. What a small mouth. I believe that's a small mouth. Yeah. My goodness. Let's net him. That's a pretty fish right here. Quiet. You stop it. We'll take a look at this one. This is a good small mouth right here. Now I'm excited, folks. I'm super duper excited. I'm about to scream. I'm I'm that close to screaming. I'm talking about I'm talking about screaming. Okay. That is a small jaw and a half. Woo. Fishing is a sport. Well, it's second to none. Now that that's a healthy small mouth right there, folks. Healthy. Picture of health. And, uh, hmm, stout fish. I've been fishing too shallow. Now, that column is set up in 17 feet of water. So, I'm going to have to focus on that deeper water to catch these better fish. And that's a small jaw, Tennessee River small mouth. Fish. I tell you, that fish right there, folks, fooled me. Fooled me. When I first set the hook, he didn't feel that big. And then when I got him about halfway up, that smallmouth went to fighting. There she goes. Now, if y'all were me, would you or would you not go back? To that column to see if we can catch another one. What would you do? Whoa. What I'm going to do right now. Now this hook's a little bit too small for this shad. But I'm going to put this old big shad down there. And I have him hooked right through the nostril. I opened his mouth and hooked him through the nostril. Which is my recommended way of doing it. It keeps him alive a lot longer. But... I'm going to pitch it back up there. And let's see if there's a big fish there. There's a lot of bass, but they're small. But they could be a big fish there. It could be a big large mouth. A super big spot. <laughs> there's no telling, but I'm going to use this shad right here just for a little bit anyway. Just to see. When I'm fishing with live bait, I would rather fish for the better fish. There we go. Dang, this is a good one, folks. I thought I was hung up. This is a good bass right here for today. I hadn't caught many big bass at all. Oh, he's fighting like a spotted bass. That don't feel like a small mouth to me. Oh my goodness, look here what a spotted bass. Wow. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. That's the kind of fish I like to catch. My goodness. My, 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 my. Look at there, look at there. Wow, look at there. Well, folks, <laughs> I just kept trying. I've caught the fish today, but not any good ones. But that's one good small mouth in a big spot. That's a good fish right there. That fish right there bit right on the edge of the drop right here. It's real rocky. In about nine feet of water is where that fish hit. So 
you know, these fish are just about everywhere. I mean, I've caught them anywhere from 20 to 9 feet today. That's a good bass right there for a spotted bass. But that fish just laid there with that bait. He inhaled it and just stayed there. The water's getting colder. They're, they're, they're real bad about that. Uh, when the water temperature reaches 60, 55, 60 degrees. All right. Shoot, man. Clarence used to know how to play the piano, but he don't know more. Let's catch another one. Golly. There's a fish. I mean, that fish knocked up. Dog gone out of that. My goodness. I hope this ain't a drum. Oh. Man. Now that feels like a small mouth, folks. That's exactly how a big small mouth does right there. They go to the bottom, come to the top, go right back. But I'm not sure. Let me loosen my drag off. Right here at the boats where a smallmouth really pitches a fit. I believe we got another smallmouth. Yeah, look here. Look at here, look at here. <laughs> Woo! And he spit up all kinds of stuff. Look at there, what a smallmouth. They. I got to show this in the y'all. Okay got to show this and to you this is a good come on in here he's barely hooked and oh my goodness that is a big big small mouth right there now i'm gonna tell y'all what fishing is a sport second to none now i've mentioned that i don't know how many times is that blind braid yeah, that line is braid. Braid bad. That fish went over a rock. When I hooked him, he was right behind a big rock. My goodness, that's a big fish. Whoa. I'm talking about dead blame. I'm tore up. Folks, I'm tore up. I'm tore up. Now, that fish right there give me a lot. I'm glad I ch changed this braid right here. That is a good small man. There ain't no doubt about it. Look at that broad tail. That's where they get their power from. My goodness. My, my, my. What a fish. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> uh, that's the best part of it best part of it right there is releasing them my goodness well the best part of it is getting a hook in one of them whoa okay well folks you know that was one of them fishing trips that was a little bit difficult I had to catch a lot of fish and be very patient before the big fish started biting. And um, I mean, it, for some reason, the better fish didn't hit until later that evening. But uh, I sure did enjoy that. That's a lot of fun. Live bait fishing is a lot of fun and oftentimes rewarding. But there's always one memory in a fishing trip that usually always sticks with me. Now that last smallmouth I caught is going to be is something that's going to stick with me. That fish was mean, folks. Very difficult to land. Although I've caught smallmouth bigger than that one, not much. But that fish was mean, especially in that current. But anyway, I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Remember how special you are to the Lord. Hey, 
each and every one of y'all are special. You're a unique individual created in God's image. And I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. And, hey, man, woo. Talking about go, go like it. Go, 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 go